Okay. I guess I got just what I wanted When all I wanted was a glance When you'd pass me in the hallway On the way to your next class I was in Boston going to college and uh, I met my girlfriend who was going to school in Boston. She was from New York and I moved to New York with her and uh, you know just looking at Seattle from New York it seemed like a lot cheaper, more beautiful and just kind of a, a nice change for us. But as far as you know Seattle support it's it's good, it's very good right now, and um, you know, there have been waves of, you know, some negative feedback, but I think that that just comes with the territory. Like every band has, you know, as many people that will love it, there's gonna be people that don't like it too. And I'm just kind of, I used to be affected by it, but I kind of learned to let it go. I'm fucking up, I'm fucking up, I'm fucking up everything. Fucking up, I'm fucking up, I'm fucking up everything. I guess I got just I what I wanted. When writing, I was directly influenced by, you know, like Bonnie Prince Billy and uh, Rose Montoise and Aiden Coughlin. These guys were doing very, like, you know, like three, four minor chord kind of music with, like, just really, you know, sad lyrics. But Fence started as a very, like, folky ripoff. It almost sounded like Jethro Toll songs or, like, Simon and Garfunkel or something. And I wanted to have more kind of, of like a pop direction because I'm, I'm like a huge like Smiths fan and, and The Cure, like Feist, you know, the, her hooks. And I strive a lot more towards just like simple pop hooks than I do, you know, this like big landscaping story about like wandering through the forest and all that shit I used to be way more into. We got to play in like five minutes, uh, Ian from the Sky Church, and uh, Greg just read the set list, and there's a shitload of people, and uh, drinking water, getting ready, so that's about it. The chords and, and the basic structure always starts, you know, like right, right there on the couch, and the lyrics too, I just write the lyrics out on the laptop, and, and usually my songwriting process is kind of like this spark you know it just happens and it it's over in like 15 minutes and it's almost like I, I feel like that urgency and that creativity and I'm like okay I have to like hurry up before like I'm I get distracted or something so I have to like move quickly and I never know when it's gonna happen and that's like when the foundation is there so I don't sit and write like a, a long poem and then try to fit it to music I just play the music and there's sort of just mumble out something and it all just kind of falls into place. Almost like a good conversation, you know, you're having with your friend, you don't write out what you're gonna say. And I feel like some of the best things you say are when you, you let go of what you think you should say and you just kind of, you know, let yourself just be natural. So that works for me. Thanks very much guys, we're fences. Have a good day. Thank you. This one was funny. Can Chris Mansfield keep it together? I don't know. I think so.